All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Remnant. I hope everybody's having a great day. I've been having a blast with this, guys. Been having a blast with this game. Um, we're, I think, in our third area now. We're in, like, this swamp area. Um, we've taken out, a I think, two bosses there so far. And I don't, I don't know how many we have left, but I wanted to go see about upgrading weapons again before we head back out because I have got myself some galvanized iron and um, my hunting rifle which has become by far my favorite gun in the game it's so good uh, it's at the upgrade stage of galvanized iron oh traveler all right let me see here uh, doo -doo -doo. what do you need yeah, yeah, so we could we could upgrade this if we wanted. Like I said, the hunting rifle to me is it's so good. <laughs> At least for my my play style. Alright, we'll go one, two upgrades on that. Be safe out there. Alright. So we'll roll with this for right now. But again, I hope everybody's having a great day today. Let me check my traits. Two points, go one health. So this game is kind of like a Souls game. Yeah, it's kind of like a Souls game, but you know, you got guns and stuff. Got a bunch of little like stories, but like, you know, the like Souls-like stories to it. Um, stories that kind of play uh, play out well if you do a lot of exploration and stuff like that. But, you know, it's mainly bosses, mobs, uh, stuff like that. Okay. Um, yeah, so we had finished up this area. Fought that boss. Sorry for the late start, guys. Literally, right as I was about to start streaming, a freaking... Oh, we must have, like, a beehive or something, like, under my deck or something in the backyard. And, uh, my son got stung the other day, and my dog keeps freaking aggro on these bees, and they just keep flying around trying to sting everybody. And one got in the house again, so I had to get it out. Might have to call, uh bee remover to come and take it because it's like they're like uh it's not a honeybee it was, it was some kind of, i don't know it looks like a it looks like a slimmer bumblebee because bumblebees are generally not aggro and i didn't even uh th it's like but it's like it looks exactly like a bumblebee just really slim so i might have somebody come and try to get the nest but if it's under my deck if i have to like deconstruct my deck down i don't even know how much that shit would cost guys hmm. okay so i've already been through this area Maybe we gotta go through the where the boss area was. Yeah, yeah, okay, so we fought the but we gotta go on the other side. This was a good boss fight. Ed Bump, how you doing today? This one we're trying to head. Yeah, it's pretty much the best way to explain this game, guys. For any of you who wonder what it is, it's, it is pretty much Dark Souls with guns. You get melee ah. weapons too, but they're kind of like an afterthought. It's just something you could use if the enemies get too close. I'm pretty sure you could probably spec into melee, but it's probably it's not not as good as the guns, guys. The guns are just so good. Okay. Yeah, so we gotta head south here. Oh yeah, I died. 
Now I remember. I died, guys. Clearing this area out. You can do melee builds? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure they're... Probably pretty good, but... Yeah! Here they come! Guns upgraded now, so we're gonna be hitting a lot harder. Ah, nice. So I didn't even see this before, guys. <laughs> and now we get, we don't have to go all the way around. It's bad on me. I love Remnant so far, Lorenzo. Yeah, I've been having a blast with this, man. Yeah, well, the first time I came through here, I didn't notice that gate. So, I pressed on this way a little bit. Let me go let me go down to the south here first. See what's down this way. Cleaning them up nice, nice. Elite enemy. Hey, Pasco with the gifted. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, whoever receives that, welcome to the fam. He's down. I died over here the last time we came through. Shot right there.
pushing pretty hard there, man. Cashy, what's up, brother? How you doing today? Uh, will I be streaming ARK? Uh, not, not any time, like, within the real near future. Um, we put, we finished our main series of ARK, which was all the way up to Extinction, and now we have, all we got left is Genesis. Um, and then I, I was putting everything on hold until ASA, but then, obviously, I got all the ASA drama going on right now, so I kind of just put everything on hold because we, come September... It's going to get crazy around here, guys. we got so many games dropping, so much stuff coming out September, October. Um, and i got a, so much stuff I have to try to work through before then. That uh, games like, especially games like Ark, um, they, have, they have to get put on hold. who killed me last time, man. <laughs> Destin with the super chat, brother. Thank you, thank you, man. Hey, I'm glad I could be here for you, Destin. I appreciate the support. You know, I always appreciate you being here. So, no doubt, what's the question, man? What is the question? Yes, uh, that, that's one of the things. That's one of the, the things that's coming up, Caspi, that I got to get back into rotation. We got to finish Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I got to beat Spider-Man before Spider-Man drops. Um, you know, I got. I wanted to beat this game before the second one drops. We got um, Starfield coming in September. It, it, the new Cyberpunk uh, DLC coming in September. Uh, September is just it's a jam-packed month. Trying to see if there's any loot in all these buildings up here. It's like what or not not they're not Wookiees. Uh God. It's gonna bother me so much. The little dudes from Star Wars, guys, little teddy bear dudes. Somebody's gonna say in chat and I'm just gonna piss me off because I can't remember. He walks, oh my god, dude. I'm so <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Kinda of reminds me of an Ewok village. Yeah. Not much up here though. I didn't mean to do that.
Dispatch, bastard! Oh shit, 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 shit! This ain't good. Why does dude stop running in place? You guys, this freaking hunting rifle just looks different. Man. George, holy shit, brother, with the five gifted, man. Thank you so much, dude. Everybody receives one of those. Welcome to the fam. Make sure you get those hearts in the chat for George out here showing that love. Kurt, how you doing? And Nemesis, what's going on? Right, let's try to get back up top here. Tons of scrap around here, man. Holy crap. And I got some forced iron out of that. Yeah. Pushed up here, there wasn't much in this area. Other than just massive amounts of scrap. Ooh, got a little bit of galvanized from that. Galvanized. <laughs> Got a bandage, four yeah. iron, more scrap.
good, guys. Looking good. Now I'm gonna head up to this uh, top area here. Finish clearing this out. A few more baddies up this way. Spider-Man 2. When did that happen? Did it actually get delayed? I don't remember hearing anything about it getting delayed. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying I didn't. I didn't I, this is the first time I'm actually hearing that. Uh, my thoughts on it would actually kind of be a little bit of a relief. <laughs> One more thing I can uh, spread out a little bit. So like I said, September, October is already going to be jam packed just because of Starfield alone. It's going to make Starfield's going to make it difficult for me to play any other game. I could tell. Uh, Like most new releases, I'm pretty sure Starfield will be, be a daily update upload. Yeah. It did get delayed? I did not know that. When the hell did they delay it? Okay, so this was a big circle right here. All right, now we just gotta head down south and uh, I think this is gonna be the last boss for this area. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be playing tonight. Um, I was supposed to play GTA yesterday, uh, but I ended up trying that Ready or Not game in its stead. Um, and then I wanted, to, obviously tonight I was supposed to play Final Fantasy, but that game's just, people just really aren't enjoying it. Um, even though I am absolutely in love with it. So... I would have played that, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know exactly what I'm doing yet. I haven't, I haven't figured it out. Because we're almost done with what I want to accomplish in GTA Online. Yeah. Um, as soon as we're done with Doomsday, I might just do the casino heist, and then we're probably going to call it good. Um, Sons of the Forest. I believe that's tomorrow we'll be playing Sons. Son, what, what, what is your question? Two ammo boxes. Yep, here's the boss. I, I didn't stop. I, I mean, I, yeah, I did stop playing Control. Um, only Because at the time, um, 
the episode the episode started to dip quite hard and i thought it was just because people were confused and really weren't feeling the game but then it kind of like spiked back up you know like way after i stopped um so i'll be finishing control at some point all right here we go i've never played roblox sonado Just like this in fucking Dark Souls. Remember that butterfly boss? And was it Dark Souls or Elden Ring? I don't remember what game it was. We were fighting on. I think it was Dark Souls One. Was that damn butterfly boss. I don't have enough stamina to dodge those little orbs. I wonder if I can freaking shoot them, though. Was it Elden Ring? Yeah, you can target them. They're cool. Boss is no joke. Yeah, I was trying to sh fucking swap weapons and I kept doing everything out other than swap weapons when he was doing his little charge thing.
too focused on the one and I should have fucking focused on the other one. Alright, got it. I gotta act, I'm gonna activate I gotta activate that uh, damage buff there. I always forget I have it.
understand it. Gotta hold my parts? Whew. Well, that'll win. There it is, guys. I was close. Corroded, though. Make us with the five gifted. Thank you so much. Yeah, we played Shadow of Mordor and uh, Shadow of War on the channel. Point of coming down here, there's nothing here. Hey, Salim, with the membership, welcome to the family. I really do appreciate it. Now, yeah, that was a that was a good boss fight, man. One of them, you know, once you're just trying to learn the mechanics, the fright in the first one was tough. Then when two showed up, I was like, really, bro? Really? Two? Have I seen Lords of the Fallen? No. They say I'm trapped. I'm definitely enjoying the game for sure. That's all the bosses, right? Was that the heart that we needed? I played Dark Souls uh, 1, Dark Souls 3 on the channel um, and Elden Ring. One Souls like that I really want to play at some point is Sekiro. That game looks freaking fire. Yeah! <laughs> 
Uh, should play the Demon Souls remake. I don't even know what Demon Souls is. Oh wait, no, is that the? That's like the original, right? The original Dark Souls game, or the original Souls game. Uh, we've done. We played Bloodborne. We've done one little thing of Bloodborne. to speak with you. You have done it. The Iskal saw it all. The Guardian is dead. Will you give us its heart? We will be forever in your debt. So I give her the heart. Go back, tell the guy I don't have it. Kick his ass, which is probably going to be frustrating. If only we could tell you, Gleamer, but our reasons must remain our own. All right. Didn't you guys say I can get a really good weapon from the other guy? If I kill him, I'm interested in getting getting some good gear. So if giving her the heart means I can get a really good weapon from the other guy, we might go ahead and do that. All right. Yeah, screw it. Yes. Yes. Thank you, outsider. You are forever in our heart. And here, as promised, is your reward. You can ask us anything. Oh shit, she just gave us some pretty good gear. It's the Slayer gear. May the Iska. And it's plus you. three. Reload, increase the total damage dealt to the next enemy hit. Damn, that's pretty good. I mean, I'd constantly have to reload. But it's got good armor, too. Yeah, it would be good for the crossbows. That's true, yeah. Damn, she, this crossbow. What is that damage? Look like people from uh, from Beetlejuice when they stretch their faces.
The Iskal welcomes you. Let me test this out. Oh, my guy. Wow. This one's more like Wow. Good judge. Armor goes good. Oh, with a sniper, yeah. This thing hits like really hard, though. Oh, I like it, guys. It hits pretty hard. I'm going to run it for a little while. Pretty good. Anderson, what's up, brother? How you doing? So now I got to travel back to the labyrinth, right? And tell the dude. Where the Undying King was. Oh, okay, up at the top there. Probably could have fast traveled actually from the the stone here, right? I think it's the monolith.
I think he's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be upset. Uh, is Shadow of War worth it? Yeah, definitely. A lot of game there. Um, definitely a lot of game. And it's a lot of fun. Questions are the procrastination of the weak, child. A scourge and a parasite, driven by a single mind. Like a disease, they absorb what they can, and destroy what they cannot, until all that is left is the root. They are efficient. I grant them that. I cannot fault their strength, though I hope to overcome it. How terribly uninteresting. For your sake, I will assume you still intend to retrieve it. Arrogant child. You shall see why they call me undying. Attend to me, Veer. There is an intruder in our midst. So that gun ain't gonna cut it. This crossbow ain't gonna cut it in this fight. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right. Yeah! Of you the heart. How terribly uninteresting. For your arrogant child. Attend to there is an intrude. Give the heart big strong and even tears of joy thumbs up medium skin tone fire. For our, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate it. Have you the heart? How terribly uninteresting. For your sake, I will assume you still intend to retrieve it. Attend to there is an intrude.
Hey, John Deck, thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate the membership. Welcome to the family. That went well enough, right? It was a good fight. Just where I use the Undying King's key. Uh, Marky, I appreciate that. And CBK, thank you so much, man. Oh, this was just a, another portal. Few of those portals in this area. Yeah, for, we did get a lot. What else? Did I get any weapons for killing him? I don't know any weapons. I did get pieces though that I could probably use to craft new weapons. The Undying Heart. Yeah, let's go check out the stuff we can craft with that new um, the new boss pieces that we got.
So can you remove that perk off this gun? I know some of them you can't take off. Can't take it off. I can in OP. Yeah, good. Keep moving. Ah, good to see you again. No, you know what's OP? What do you need? There's the rifle, guys. The hunting rifle is OP. Oh, they got a shotgun for sale. Yeah, the hunting rifle is is, is god tier. I do want to get a mind. new. What? I wanted to get a new All right, um, activation thing here, but. I don't want to waste my Illuminite on these because I'm not going to use them. Yeah, good. Now go. Try to swarm. I'm not in the mood for chat. They're not taking headshot damage. Might be that thing on their face. What's my favorite environment so far? I mean, I really like the desert area, but this area looks pretty damn cool, too. This reminds me of the Night Owl Forest from World of Warcraft. Like, if you were to put the Night Owl Forest into, like, greedy graphics and not World of Warcraft graphics, I imagine this is what it would look like. Well, World of Warcraft is 3D. You guys know what I meant. Like... Non World of Warcraft graphics.
That moves, man. Is that all you got? King so just straight crit. Was somebody over here? I did not realize. Uh, what brings it so far from home? A man? Other Pixel Tech? Ugh, I cannot help it. <laughs> but perhaps I can offer something else. I acquire things, Pixel Tech. Anything it needs, no matter how rare or dangerous, <laughs> provided it does not ask the origins. I also deal in information, should that interest it more. <laughs> so long as it doesn't ask questions. Hmm? Yes, Pixeltech has business. Let me actually go ahead and I didn't even realize I'm still wearing that other armor. Switch back to my Night Stalker. 
Because that other armor doesn't benefit this rifle at all. See what's up with this door. Her ring is open. I didn't even read what that ring did. I wasn't. So long as he doesn't ask quest. Wow. Reduces income and melee damage by twenty percent. It's a hundred thousand, though, guys. That's so it expensive. It will tell me if it finds anything of value. Yes. Anderson with the super chat with it. Thank you, thank you, man. Oh, what's for lunch today? We had some, uh, some like little chicken tender things. Just not getting through there right now. We had some little chicken tender things. And, uh, a couple of Reese's pieces, peanut butter, or Reese's peanut butter cups, and, uh, half a Snickers. Takes that shot. Purple up here somewhere. Up right here. Vengeance Idol. Damn, it's pretty good damage increase of my. Uh, what new release? Uh, uh, probably Starfield. It's probably the game I'm looking forward to the most right now.
Okay. Give me a good bit of galvanize on. Now we're just gonna get a good bit of luminite. Oh, Whippick, I appreciate it. Guys, I appreciate all the love that you guys are showing in the chat today. I hope everybody's having a great day. We already got over 200 likes on the stream. Yeah, tons of galvanized iron here. See them W's in the chat real quick if you guys are like soul fans of souls games. Souls like games. Not just souls, but souls like games. <sighs> you know, Elden Ring, Dark Souls, those type of And out of all of the Souls-like games you've played, okay, you just type the number out of five. So one out of five, or I guess one out of ten, okay, just in case it's not in the top five. Um, one out of ten, where would you rank Sekiro in your, in your, like, favorites? Like, you know, is it your third favorite of all time? Is it your first, second, seventh? <laughs> I 
swarm is so good. Because the cells were so smooth. Not enough room. It's fun once you learn the combat system. Yeah, Sekiro looks pretty intense. Expected it to rank higher too and Swarm is pretty OP, guys. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. That shit is so good. That was wrong. <laughs> it is so good. I've, n I've only played like a few hours of Sekiro. Um, we were just testing it out. I've never even done like an actual playthrough of the game yet, so I can't even really rank it. From what I remember, I had a lot of fun. Um. Yeah, I barely, barely played it. I like the Elden Ring a lot just because of how, like, just how different you could play the game from everybody else. A lot of classes, a lot of weapon types. World was huge. Some kind of puzzle here with these bells.
What did I think of Bloodborne? I mean, yeah, we only did that little episode of Bloodborne, and that one was pretty damn good, too. I played Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah, yeah, we got it on the channel. Gotta be a clue around there somewhere. I didn't see anything in that book. That, like says anything useful. It's a pattern of ten hits. Oh shit. Did I walk past it? Well, before I get the solution, is, is the solution in here somewhere?
Maybe underground here. But I said you never seen this. I don't even see the pattern in the dungeon anywhere unless you got to decipher it from that freaking manual, but that doesn't say anything. There was a number in there that said like some like 200 and or 600 and some odd thousand and 32 or something like that, but it didn't. I, I mean, I don't particularly want the answer right this second. I want to know how do I find the answer. That I keep asking that, and nobody in chat is saying like, like where is the answer? Is it in this? Or do you just gotta guess that shit? No way you're guessing that shit. Logan, hey, I appreciate you. How you doing today? Yeah, there's not there's more than 10 paragraphs in the book That's what I was trying to count right now if each paragraph was like giving you a symbol, but Yeah, I don't think it's... Uh, somebody said uh, there's some village around here. I think you find the solution there. Gotcha. I mean, there's five bells, so that means you got to hit each bell twice in a certain order, I take it.
Uh, just on vacation, gonna watch your favorite stream play. Hey, Logan, I hope your vacation's going good. All right, so what's the let, 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 what's the uh, does anybody in chat know by offhand? Because I'm just gonna leave and not get this because I don't know where to. Does anybody know offhand what the the order is? Say like this is one through five. So like one, five, three, four, five. You know, like like. Is this reward even worth getting? Ah. Oh, I definitely would never would have got that. So there wasn't even a boss in this dungeon, just the scavenger's bobble. Increase the amount of scrap picked up by 50%. It's pretty good. I, I would use that if I, I didn't want to lose damage. Yeah, fifty percent more scrap. That's not that's not bad. Alright, so that's that area done. The only issue is we're gonna all the enemies are gonna be respawned back in. Oh, what is the plot of the game? Um, there's like this thing taking over the world called the root. It's literally a bunch of roots, but they like make like these evil tree dudes and shit like that. And uh, we're trying to figure out how to stop it, I think. But the guy that knows how to stop it's gone, gone missing. And uh, we're trying to find him. At least that's what I've grabbed so far. Something along yeah. that. A lot of galvanized. We'll be able to upgrade some weapons here soon.
So was that King Boss? Would you guys say he was one of the hardest bosses in the game or one of the harder bosses? Or is there worse bosses? Let's find out. Looks like we've got another boss up ahead. Outsider, who is it you serve? Oh, dinner? Tell yeah, lasagna, you should have made the sausage roll. It would have been delicious, though. <laughs> I suspect that is true. I know your kind. You are Poxoltec. Poxoltec. That's what we are, Chet. We're no longer humans. We now are all Poxel Tech. Long ago, a good friend, the Paxel Tech Ford aided our cause. It is for him I speak to you at all. But Ford is gone now. They question him to find us. A queen keeps him in her ziggurat. Ziggurat is easy to find. For lasagna sounds delicious, guys. Is not. For many turns, one of your centuries, perhaps, nobles trapped his men in a cave, slaughtered everyone. At least this is what we thought. I found Ford far from the cave, wounded, near death. I healed him, helped him return home. I wish I could help him now, but too much is at stake. It is me they want. Ford understands this.
I was the sentry of the Empress and shared in the fruit of life. I have lived hundreds of your years. It is many turns since I ate the fruit, yet even now I age only slowly. Yes, he returned many times, gave us aid, weapons, strategies, knowledge from his world. He said his uh, America was familiar with rebellion. Last time he came was 20 turns ago. He said he would stay, live with us, <laughs> even fight alongside us. I was glad, very glad, but nobles knew, <clears throat> ambushed him, took him. He does not return. How is he still alive, though? This one is Navun, once a sentry of the Empress herself, now leader of those who resist the nobility. May you find what you seek. Well, lasagna sounds delicious, but that's a hell of a thing to make. It's not just something you just whip up on a whim. I remember the one year she, she uh, you prepped all the lasagnas. She had like froze, like made a bunch and then froze them. And then, uh, anytime we would want lasagna, she would just go ahead and just make it. Ah, oh, man, I'm seeing stars after that sneeze, guys. You know when you, like, sneeze so hard, you get, the, like, the little, like, particles? Yo, the hunting rifle has to be one of the best guns in the game, hands down. Like, this shit is disgustingly good. Also, chat, I asked if any answered i didn't see an answer does anybody know what kind of bee looks like a bumblebee it looks like a bumblebee but just like a little thinner they're not like as bulky as, and they're like super hyper aggressive and sting the shit out of people might just be a i, don't, I didn't even i didn't even know bumblebees stung like that though It wasn't a wasp. It looks like a bumblebee. It's furry. It's yellow and black. But it's a... Huh? Yeah, like... But yeah, it's thick. It's black and yellow. Furry like a bumblebee. Like, exactly like a bumblebee, guys. But just... A, it's, a, it's a little slimmer. That's it. Huh? It was yellow. The... Oh, yeah, yeah, like it had like yellow like on the upper body and then the bottom was black But um, and it had like those little orange like Little things on its legs looking like it was collecting pollen or some shit But it looked like a, it looked like a bee like a straight-up bee Meat bee Yeah, what is that one right there? 
It's a carpenter bee. Uh, so yeah, it's a carpenter bee. Yeah. Yeah, she just looked it up. So it's a carpenter bee. Those things are fucking mean as hell, dude. Like super mean. They're bad, man. These the one the, the fucking ones we have attack my dog that my son got stung. Like they're like really really bad. Might have to call a bug person and see if they can get it out. Certainly. Yeah, they're sad like they're fucking savages, man. I've never had issues with bees like And my and what happens is is my dog keeps aggro in the bee and then the bees are pissed. Once once it's and then it just starts stinging everybody. Yeah, what I think is is they they built their hive right under my deck near my door. So we're like really close to the hive and it's just it's not happy that we're that close to the hive. Um and I think that they're just going aggro. All right, so let's go ahead and upgrade this. 51 galvanized, guys. Oh. 15. So now we need hardened iron to go above plus 15. Take care, my friend. Yeah, the problem is they're under my deck, and uh, that would require some dismantling, and uh, that would probably cost a decent bit of money. So I, I don't even know how um, how that would work. That's why I'd have to call some like somebody who removes bees for a living and have them do it. Cause I'm not trained. I'll, like they'll probably come and be able to remove the hive and not kill anything. You know what I mean? They'll probably just smoke them out, get the hive, and move it. Uh, if I went under there, I'm going under there with like a fucking flamethrower. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going under there with a flamethrower. It's different, guys. So, outside of the hunting rifle, guys, what would you say the best gun in the game? I'm, 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 I'm personally saying hunting rifle easily in the top three best rifles in the game. Has to be. Just the rate of fire plus the sheer single target damage it does <laughs> not exactly sure what game we're playing later I'm still still thinking on it um, I personally want to play and beat Final Fantasy, but, um, it's not, it's not hanging in there very well, so I was thinking I might have to move that game to just playing it on my own time, um, you know, if we had a little extra time in the morning or something, jump on stream and play it, um, but then I'm like, screw that, I want to play it anyways, <laughs> so I might just play it anyways, guys, I don't even care, I don't even care anymore. That game is fire, man. The game is freaking fire. Um, but then we're also getting really close to finishing up, finishing up uh, GTA. 
five. We only got probably like one or two more streams of that uh, before we're done, so. One thing I actually gotta upgrade is my armor. Been upgrading my weapons a ton. Haven't been putting like any love into my armor. Problem is if I go back to that, I'm gonna have to re-clear this area again. Finished Final Fantasy 16 yesterday. Started a new game plus on Final Fantasy mode. That yeah, game is fire, man. It's so much fun. Or the story is just so good, in my opinion. I just, I don't know. I really like the theme of this game. I don't know how far I am in the game. Shirley, how you doing today? It's good to see you. Uh, which one I enjoy more? Final Fantasy 16. Uh, Final Fantasy 16, hands down. Like, if I were to rate my experience with Final Fantasy 7 Remake, compared, like, on a scale of 1 to 10, compared to Final Fantasy 16, um, I would put Final Fantasy 7 Remake at probably, like, like a 5 or a 6. And for me personally, Final Fantasy 16 is like a solid like nine, eight, nine, and just a straight fun, immersive story. Like I, I'm, I love it so much. Yeah, I'm a huge, huge fan of the story. you guys say I am in Final Fantasy if, if you were watching my last stream and you beat the game how far would you guys say I am I'm serious big as hell we'll come back this way I've never played Shadow of Colossus, no. no I appreciate that assault, seriously.
About 70%. What happened to Daisy? Uh, nothing happened. We just, uh, my server that I was playing on got wiped. Um, and I, I was, my plan for Daisy at that point was I was going to do probably like maybe two more streams of it. Um, of us running some like PVP end game type stuff. And then I was gonna, I was gonna, uh, we were gonna take a break from Daisy for a while while we played a bunch of other games. Um, you know, games that we have coming up and stuff like that. Um, and then what ended up happening is the server got wiped. So all of our progress, all of our gear, everything got erased. Um, and I was like, well, I don't want to restart because, you know, I, I already, I was about to end this anyways. Uh, so I ended up just putting it on hold right now. We'll be playing Borderlands uh, soon. Yeah, that, that's one of the games that's uh, in the shoot to be attempted. And with Spider-Man being delayed, if what you guys are saying, that means uh, I, that's going to delay me having to play Miles Morales. Not like I don't want to play it. It's just... I want to play it closer to the release of Spider-Man 2. So we can kind of just roll right into it. Um, but yeah, that gives me a little bit uh, more freedom. Oh, guys, I just bought like 40 new games for the same summer sale. Yeah, that, it was crazy how cheap they were too. I got like $750 worth of games for like $200. It was absolutely insane. Miles Morales super short. Only need like two or three streams for it. And and Cassie, come close to the release of uh, Spider-Man too. Um, if, even if I have to stream it daily, I I will. You know what I mean? Just to get it played and beat ready. All right. So I want to go uh, see if we can upgrade my armor a little bit before pushing forward. How much stories do I have on my computer? Uh, two terabytes. But I only keep a certain amount of games installed at a time. to see you again all right let's see here so it's gonna uh, let's see what i've got if we can get some upgrades in our armor our armor is really 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 under leveled compared to my weapons you know <laughs> my rifles are plus 15 spitfires you know super super it, it's damn it's gonna take all my galvanized let's do my armor first though all right <sighs> Everything up to plus 10. Look at that. Got everything up to plus 10. Armor's significant compared to what we just were at. And I'll actually take this and I'll dump this into the uh, Spitfire here. Be safe out there. All right, so now we're on a whole nother level. Oh, I, I upgraded the wrong boots. Seriously? What boots did I just up? I upgraded the stupid ass Slayer boots. It's fine. We'll rock them. I'm going to lose my three piece, but it's all good. We'll still get the armor from it. I should have been paying better attention to what boots I was upgrading. 
Fallen Order and Survivor. Yeah, they're, they are Souls-like games, Lorenzo, those Star Wars games. Actually, you know what? I might have enough. What is, what am I at right now? 10%, yeah, so we lost 10% and gained 10% in a different spot. Let me see about, um, if I have enough to upgrade those other boots. So I had a ton of forged iron that I wasn't even using. So let me go check. The one thing I've liked about as as we made our way through the the Dark Souls games, Elden Ring, um, the one thing that I did like that changed a lot compared to Dark Souls 1 was dying to fall. Like, it seems like they got rid of a lot. Like, I can't even tell you how many times I died to falling in Dark Souls 1. It was, it was I think it was probably my main way I died. Ah, good to see you again. And, um, yeah, it seems like they went, went away from that ah, quite a bit. Let's see what I've got. Take care, my friend. Now I can get my set bonus back. <laughs> Gravity definitely was our friend. <laughs> Would I play it again? I, I mean, I would. I, I would go back and revisit. I mean, I never fully finished Dark Souls one. Um, I never when we when we started playing Dark Souls on the channel, it wasn't to like beat it. That was never our goal. Uh, we used Dark Souls actually to train my me for Elden Ring. That was the only reason why I played uh, Dark Souls was to train myself for when Elden Ring's release, and it worked, guys. It, it definitely worked. Yeah, look at the damage. There it is. the new armored core i don't even know what that is nilski armored core is it like zoids only the real only the real nerds in the chat i told you no i, I guarantee nobody in chat even likes zoids i'm testing your nerdiness right now chat I don't care what anybody says. Zoids was so fire. This way. Let's 
Just want something sweet. Something sweet. I don't know what a sweet dinner would be. Huh? Oh, got you. That's, I mean, that's easy. You just go eat anything. There's tons of sweet stuff. Huh? You could just eat like a cookie. Like a brownie? Huh? I got a Reese's peanut butter cup. I think. Yeah. No. Yeah, there's one in there. I think. Or is that the wrapper? Yeah, there's one in there. Or I got a Snickers. Sausage roll. Yeah, she makes the killer sausage roll. Or she can sell that shit. I've gone to like pizza places and stuff and ordered roll. The fire mage. And ordered like a sausage roll and it's like 90% bread and it's just. I'm telling you, when she makes that shit, guys, it, it's. It's one of the best things I've ever eaten in my life. some crazy damage, man. Keeper's ring. Increased resistance to all elemental damage. Oh, there's the other one I got. Increased range damage. Ooh, 12% increase in damage. I'll take it. This is the flat 12% damage buff, guys. That ring is absolutely insane. That 100,000 uh, scrap ring oh, was only a 20% damage increase. And it was 100,000 uh, scrap. That's your boy in. What's it selling?
Do I ever gamble? No. No, I used to back uh, quite a few years ago. Um, I got real stuck on them damn uh, scratch-off tickets and shit like that. Um, but no, I don't. I don't. It's a waste of money. I'd spend freaking a hundred dollars and then win twenty bucks and be like, yeah, and go fucking take the twenty bucks I won and then eventually lose it. It was just made no sense. Throughout my like, I, I did it for like six months, guys. I probably spent like a thousand dollars on freaking scratch off tickets and won like maybe a hundred bucks. You know what I mean? It's just not, not worth it. Chasing the big dreams, you know? And I didn't even realize that I was addicted to that shit, guys. Like, it, it was crazy. Like, Crystal actually had to be like, hey, man, are you all right? Like, you're buying these damn tickets, like, like hotcakes. And then the worst part is that I even got Herb playing on them, too. You know what I mean? It was just, it was just a bad habit that I got into. <laughs> But I realized stopped. <laughs> Patrick said scratch offs are like voluntary taxes for me. <laughs> Who's paying the state? did gamble you know like, uh, like there was the one time we went to the casino and and, and sometimes i'll play some of the the, the the games and not even for the, like the winning of the money just because they were fun you know i'd go i'd hang out at the roulette table or not the roulette table um like craps table um you know and it, it that would be fun sometimes i'd go play texas hold'em and like the little tournaments they would do but never like to like win money it would just be because the games were fun Used to play a lot of hold'em when I was in the military on deployments and stuff like that. So I just I, I, I genuinely just enjoy playing poker. It's fun. Those of you guys that served in the military, you know, I played a lot of poker. You play a lot of spades. Thank you for the super chat. How are you doing today? Uh, congratulations on 93.5k subscribers. And um, what are the next game I'm playing today? Um, you and your family deserve it. Keep up the brilliant stream. I appreciate you, man. Um, I, I, like I said, it's between Final Fantasy and GTA. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, a lot of dominoes. Look, Chris, again, thank you so much. I don't know if this is going to be a boss area or if it's going to be yep, boss room area. So we should be good. And then there's Gwent. Yeah, Cassie. You see, I'd play some Gwent, man. All day. Look at that! Oh. Oh, 
Congratulations on 93.5 subscribers, and what's the next game you're playing today? You and your family deserve it. Keep the brilliant streaming video. Yo, that swarm shredded them, guys. Call that a win. Pascal with the gifted and Patrick with the gifted. Thank you guys. Crockett says, I know I packed at least a thousand decks into care packages back in high school. Now, you guys don't understand those pair, those care packages that you guys were sending and stuff for us while we were deployed. Man, they some really great stuff. You know, I, I remember uh, I think I was five months into my Afghanistan deployment and we didn't have a whole lot of food. We didn't have hot chow uh, at this OP that I was stationed at. We were eating MREs every single day guys and um we got a care package and it had slim jims in it it had mr or um uh pop tarts it was there was like a thousand boxes of pop tarts uh cards and and like i said we, we had nothing out here guys and, and when i tell you we got that care package and it was like the best thing i've ever received in my life and after eating mres for four months Tell you pop tarts will change your life but that i gotta i gotta admit that care package did ruin to pop tarts for me because i was eating pop tarts day in and day out like non-stop eating pop tarts guys and you can ask crystal when i got back guys i wasn't able to eat a pop tart for years i just i can't even look at it. i was just like nah i'm good like just the thought of eating a pop tart <laughs> just it, it was done i was done i couldn't do it <laughs> Ah, uh, David, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. But no, yeah, the care packages go a long way, guys. A lot of guys out there that I appreciate them. They're, it might not seem like much, you know, when you're you, when you're just packing away some snacks and some cookies and crackers and shit. But I promise the guy on the other side of that is not looking at it as like. Damn, they just sent me a pack of Oreos. I'm like, damn, a pack of Oreos? I haven't seen an Oreo in like six months. You know what I mean? It's just, that shit's life changing, man. It's, it's, it's so good. But I can't tell you how, how delicious a Slim Jim is. When you, uh, when you're living off MREs. Or like, or the packs of beef jerky, you get, got, oh. <laughs> when people really splurge and they go out and they buy the beef jerky, that shit will change your life. Beef jerky is the best patrol food ever, guys.
think this is the last... Yeah, this is the last uh, dungeon in this area. Pop-Tarts have come a long way. I mean, even in the, like back when I was young, they had like blueberry, cherry, and that was it. Like they had the red, the, the uh, and then the plain ones. And then, uh, and then they came out. You guys remember them fucking, uh, what were they? The damn, uh, oh, they were my favorite. The toaster strudels. Yo, toaster strudels hit different. I mean, I was really poor, so I never really had toaster strudels, but I had a couple of friends that had toaster strudels and I'd go over their house and oh man, they were so, they were like next level delicious. Then they came out with the breakfast versions of the toaster strudels. They had like the egg and the bacon and stuff inside. Yo, them shits went so hard. They were so good. Childhood. I don't like pop tarts warmed up though. Like, like, to like I don't toast them shits. I think they're super gross when you heat them up. But now there's like a billion different flavors of pop tarts. You get like birthday cake pop tarts, freaking s'mores, and all types of stuff. You make your own beef jerky? Oh, that's crazy. I've, I've, I've had like people make venison jerky for me. Never beef jerky though. Pop tarts you're supposed to freeze? No, I never heard of those. Swanee brother, thank you for the super chat. Talking about his crayon flavor. <laughs> Don't let him fool you. He ain't talking about no strudel. He's talking about crayons. Nah, dude. No, never, man. I ate crayons after the strudel. Okay, so what the hell do I need to get in there? All right, something from, uh, so we, I take it that wasn't the world boss then that shaman that we fought. Cleared that, cleared that, cleared that. That's where we started. And I agree, Pat, that, that freaking bacon jerky, oh my god. I, I was on a I was on a kick for that for a while. But it's so expensive, man. It's very good, though. I wasn't. Uh, there goes B, talking the about his crayon flavors he eats. Don't let him fool you. He ain't talking about no strudel. So he He's talking about crayons. Questions. Hmm? Shouldn't need anything. I am here. I'm trying to figure out where the hell we gotta go, guys. Cause I've I've hit all these dungeon locations. I don't know. Did I miss a key somewhere? I don't know. I'm checking. I'm looking at the map. I don't see where. Unless it was.
So I've done all the boss areas. Look, the, this is where we came in. Okay. I cleared this one. That was the very first one we did. That, uh... forgot what the hell was in that one. And then this was the... We went in here. Oh, that, I believe that was the siege. Or no, what one was this? I don't remember. We, but we did that one, obviously. And then I went into this one and came out of here. The thunder thing I got from the last boss. The storm crystal. No, that's just used to make a, a weapon. See, none of those work here. That's a side boss? I thought... Uh, Maybe it's right here. Maybe this goes somewhere new. I didn't miss anything in here that I seen. Only spot I really didn't check was up on this left side here. Maybe I gotta squeeze some dialogue out of that traitor. Shooter in the face. So our mission now is to just find Ford's trail in the jungle. I've 
Fossil Tech. Ah, uh, the Pexel Tech. Is there something I can help it find? I hear many things a Pexel Tech would be interested in. Let me share with it my world secrets. Although nobility had long lived and many, only a few dozen true immortals exist. They are those who ate from the Tree of Life at the beginning. The Empress's companions who eat from it still. Every noble can trace their ancestry to an immortal. Our guardian is gone. Destroyed by Pixel Tech like you. It removed our protector. Trying to lure an enemy from its world to our own. They say that is the reason the trees now rise against us. I wonder if I just keep paying the her. The Empress's true name is Ginas. It was she who first found the Tree of Life and ate of its fruit, giving her eternal life. It is she who controls the nobility by granting scraps of immortality. The nobility enjoys long life thanks to the fruit of the Thean. But the fruit has gone bad, and the nobles worry. Yet they will not turn against their empress. The risk is too great. Go to the left of her? Should it need anything, I am here. Oh, there it is. The strange curo. It was on her, um, on her cart. I wonder if that's actually what we need. We'll go see if it fits. It? Did I kill it? Is 
It looked like it was, it just ran. We have a beef jerky super store here. They have so much jerky, beef, venison, bison. That's crazy. Yeah, we don't really. I mean, I got like a Bass Pro Shop. Is that kind of the same? Damn. Still got to figure out where the hell to go. I mean, I just got to keep questioning the trader over and over and over again. Seriously, what the fuck? The hell happened? Oh. Chance, dude. It didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Yo, did we just get her ring for free? Her hundred thousand? Yeah, we did. Oh, that's a damage reduction by twenty percent. It's a good ring, though. I might actually swap out this for that ring. I see an area that I can maybe go vent check. That was just to get up on the tree. I remember coming over here. up here there was nothing up there yeah and I cleared this dungeon down here damn guys where the hell do I go oh maybe I gotta go back Uh, maybe, maybe, because the uh, previous area, I don't know if I even fully cleared the previous area. You know, sometimes, like, you'll clear an area and then you'll branch into a new one. I'll go check the previous area and see if that I fully cleared that. Cosman, how you doing? 
Uh, check a period area, Mary. That's what I'm thinking, Codex. Yeah. That's going to take me out of the jungle area. The other labyrinth portal went to a different zone. I got to I got to I got to follow his trail here in the jungle. Okay, so this is what I thought. I knew there was an area of the jungle I didn't finish, so this area of the jungle I still gotta go fully explore. Yeah, I didn't come this way. I remember I was like, oh, no, I'll go the other way first. And yeah, I never ended up coming over here. It was, uh... The emissary is quite big, man. They had, like, a whole optional... I don't know if it was optional, but that whole area that we were just in had nothing to do with this main area here. The mobs, it's just like a Dark Souls game, Cosmin. The mobs respawn 
anytime you uh, hit one of the checkpoints to like uh, heal or, or teleport or something like that, they will always respawn. Yeah, there was one over there. You got Yo, does anybody in chat have a high CP blastoise that they could trade me? So I could give it to my son. Poor little man went to a pokey stop and his iPad died. Was he crushed? Oh, well, I couldn't even imagine. I mean, he could just charge it up and go back. Huh? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's, a, yeah, it's Blastoise. Yeah, he, he went to a pokey stop right around the corner of our house, finally got a Blastoise. And his fucking iPad died as soon as he threw the damn mic Pokeball at it. <laughs> Poor dude. Well, I've said he's, he's crushed right now, guys. Have I played the stasis games? No, I've never heard of that. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're gonna go in here, come out here, and then I'll bring us into that bottom area. Get a real long extension cord for his iPad. Yeah, he's charging it right now. I'm pretty sure Chris will probably bring him back over there. Or even after I'm done, I might, if it, once it charges. Monstrous damage, man. It's crazy. Let's okay, so health's maxed. Huh? 
Feels good, guys. I actually, uh... I just recently got back into playing Clash of Clans. I, I got I, have, I haven't played in a long time, and um, it's always so overwhelming to get back into. You know, you jump into like because I'm a Town Hall 12, you jump back into the game and it's just like, oh my god! Especially they add so much new shit, and it's, I don't know what I'm staring at anymore. But I've, I've been spending the past like week and a half slowly getting reaccustomed and learning how to attack again, and it's been fun. It's been fun. Yeah, Clash of Clans is it, it's really cool. I like the new town or the Capitol Hall shit they did, um, where it's like your whole clan like attacks like this big. It's it that 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 was pretty cool. I joined just some random clan. I'm not a part of like a real clan yet, um, just because I'm not uh, I'm not consistent right now. And I want to make sure I'm I know how to attack before I go do clan war again. Shred these big guys, man. Yeah, I played a little bit of Boom Beach back in the day. Never got super invested in it, though. I was always real big on Clash because. When I was in the military, I uh, had a lot of guys that I was uh, serving with in my company that, that all played. When is the Halo 2 playthrough play happening? I'm not exactly sure. Like I said, I'm, I haven't been in a super big rush to continue Halo only because the first game did so atrociously bad that um, I didn't want to repeat of the second game like so, like back to back. Um, but we'll be checking it out. We will be and along with the other Batman games at Arkham and stuff like that. I think the first game did bad just because it was so old, you know, the story wasn't very strong, the game was very repetitive, the level design was extremely drawn out and repetitive, but I mean, what do you expect from a game that's as old as Halo 1, you know what I mean? I don't know if it gets any better with Halo 2, but... is much better story and level design yeah that's what i'm hoping for keep people more engaged because yeah halo one just did wasn't doing it i i enjoyed halo one it was okay you know what i mean like i said the story was quite weak but what the hell was that ring that we just got Oh, oh, so that ring makes it so you can't go above 50% health. So say you're using that other ring that gives you like a bazillion more damn. Let me see. What ring was that? Had a ring that um, when you're below 50 below below 50% health. Or maybe it was a necklace.
Yeah, so increase all damage dealt by 30% when where is health is below 50%. So I'll take it if you combo this with that ring, you can always have 30% more damage. That, that, that's actually quite huge. I want to see if that combo... And then you're just always stuck at 50% health, but now you're doing... This just turns me into what, like a glass cannon? Absolute shredding. Yeah, so we're just always getting that huge damage buff, buff right now. That's a really good combo. Bright steel ring um, from Whispers to negate the weight issue entirely. Oh, got you. So it's a way to like glitch it so you have the effect of the ring. When you are the, the when you are not the host of a multi got gotcha. Any DLC for this game? I believe there is, yeah. I, I, I didn't buy it. I'm only playing the base game right now. But, um, yeah, I think there is a, a DLC. I don't know how much content the, the adds, but... Wait, hold on. Let me check. Did I get... Have I got any hardened iron yet? I still feel like I've only been grabbing galvanized. Yeah, so we haven't started getting hardened iron yet. Or no, you gotta make hardened iron, actually, don't you? Yeah, I think you gotta make hardened iron with that lady. You can't, you can't craft or uh, find it.
like it was her. Tower pop up in the middle of the... I thought I'd finally... I'd be afraid to step... No, maybe not. Oh, I thought you made up. So you can turn hard and iron into galvanize. Later. Go see what other weapons and stuff we can get with the uh, boss items we found. Ah, good to see you again. Ah, let's see what I've got. Uh, I'm playing this on Steam, uh, Bedfast. Cyberpunk tomorrow? I believe so, George. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, see, we need hard and iron. I haven't found any of that at all. And that's what we need to upgrade both of our weapons because we're already at level 15. So long. I'm not in the mood for Chad. Yeah? All right, then. Storm Caller Conjure, an electrical storm centered around the caster. Sounds pretty good, too. Oh, I like that swarm, guys. That swarm that we got, it <laughs> hits hard. Yeah, good. I've improved my armor, Belfast. Yeah, yeah. The, I, I could probably improve it a little bit more. Because um, seeing as I don't need galvanized iron anymore for my weapons, I could use it on my armor Anything now. You need? What do you need? We're plus 10 on all of our armor. Yeah, yeah, see, so we'll, we'll go plus 11. Plus 12 on these two pieces. Plus 11 on there. Take care, my friend. See how this goes. Uh, Blubber with the 19 months. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Popping in to say hi. It's your birthday, 33. Hey, I'm 33, Blubber. We're both the same age. I turned 34 this year, though, man. So I'm older. Oh, boss fight. Now, I wonder if I should keep my health at 50% for this bot because we'll see how my damage is. If anything, I'll, I'll, I'll have to just change up my trinkets and stuff and get my regular health back if we're too squishy. Damn. 
kill me quick, dude. I'm gonna try one more time with, with my help like it is. Dude, what, it wasn't even like it was hard. It was just he hit hard as hell. But I was able to global that little dude quick as, like, super, super quick. Even though we're playing with like practically no health, we're just Broke we just sweat. hit so hard. I'll give you that. Yeah, don't sleep on the swarm, guys. That shit hits different. Uh, Russian with the five months, brother. Thank you so much, dude. Casa and the thank you for the raid, brother. I appreciate it, man. How you doing tonight? Still a different area. Oh no. Okay, no, no, we're back in the main area. That's what I was wondering. I was like, are we back here? We are. Guys, thank you. We got over 450 likes on the stream. I really do appreciate it. I'm not going to lie, I almost shot that guy. Ah! 
We're getting Casa. Thank you so much, everybody who came over. How are you guys doing tonight? Yeah, this gun does a good damage. I mean, the way I'm specced out, you know, I got the range gear on, which is giving me an extra 20% damage. Um, <coughs> my rings, my necklace, my trinkets, weak spot damage. Right now, like, I, I do, I'm, I'm doing a stupid amount of damage, especially if I'm hitting weak spots, like headshots and stuff like that. We, uh, we're hitting hard. Practically one shot everything. You hit it in the right spot. Ever played Kenshin? No. I'll... I almost bought it the other day. I seen it was on the Steam Summer Sale. I just didn't know what kind of game it was. So I didn't buy it. Yeah, the sequel drops at the end of this month. That's actually why we're playing this right now. Kenshi is brutal. I mean, what kind of game is it? So is this the Immortal Lady Emperor's Castle? The Zigatry or whatever it was called we're looking for? I wouldn't say I'm OP. Definitely high risk, high reward play style right now with the with the build we got currently. So as you guys can see, I have to keep my health at ha well. You can't see because it's behind me. Why did you guys tell me to move my camera? Um, you guys, see, I got. I have to keep my health at half in order to keep my damage up. But that's a big risk in itself. Um. Kenshi is a sandbox that will kick the sand in your face all by itself. <laughs> Open world survival RPG. Oh. Is it a cool game? I've never heard of it. Like, I've heard of it, but I've never, like, really, like, nobody's really ever asked me about Kenshi. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll add it to the list. Dark Vader, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good myself, man.
more up goes more it's five bells again the solution around here somewhere? How the fuck did I have to really shoot that thing in the face? We'll have to, I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, this is my first stream of the day. That was 
was nuts! I'm not sure what we're playing next. I haven't decided yet. Leoric, how you doing? Oh, is this a good game? Oh, yeah, I, I'm having a blast with this game. If you like Souls-like games, yeah, you'll definitely enjoy this. Yeah, and the sequel's about to drop at the end of this month, so... The him? Well, I'll be. Never thought I'd see a human again. How the hell did you get here? This world, I mean. Huh. That means the ward's in trouble. Ellen's too damn smart to activate that thing otherwise. But what do you need me for? Root on the Atoll? You mean Ward 17? <laughs> Why in God's name would you? Oh, holy hell. Clawbone's the source. Harzgard's dreamer was the gate. My... my life's work. Fair warning. You're walking a pretty dangerous road. But maybe... just, 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 just maybe. You'll succeed where I failed. How can I help? Yeah, I know how to get in. There's a mirror in Ward 13. Not where the survivors live. In the lower floors. Locked away. That mirror is like a door to the other wards. Here. This key will let you unlock the computer connected to the mirror. No. Thank you. You've given me hope for the first time in a long while. All that to find this man for him to just give me the key? Bro, do you not know what we just went through for that key? <clears throat> Intergalactic travel, bro. Now, we already went to one part of the the bottom of this area. <laughs> Good to see Guys, thank you. We almost got 500 likes on this stream. 
I really appreciate it. Is it lower than this? here that thing right yep okay all that for this key guys oh Jesse Holmes I appreciate that thank you so much what weapons are good in AC Brotherhood um, shit, I don't even, uh, to be honest with you, I couldn't even tell you. I don't even remember the weapons from Brotherhood. I, I feel like they were all the same in those first three games. You would kind of just, I, I used to, used to just counter attack everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got the control right in my inventory. I used it, uh, I used some of the stuff upstairs to, um... To unlock more stuff there was I know there was more stuff up top a ah, little neutron appreciate you Now, Remnant 2 is a direct sequel of this game, right? Oh, uh, Darth, I might be playing GTA tonight. I haven't decided yet. Person's the source of the root. Once again, the children of the core think to change the inevitable. They do not see the truth, the futility of their actions. We bring purity to chaos, serenity to bedlam. All will be consumed. This is necessary and good. The children do not understand. The children believe their lives worth living. The children are wrong. The worlds and the core of the worlds live in pain, agony, discord. We bring peace, equality, silence. All are one within our embrace. The children resist what cannot be resisted. They fight a battle that cannot be won. 
Their actions are ultimately irrelevant. No matter how many times they rise, they will be destroyed. Their time. Well, this is a dreamer, is guys. We will consume all. Victor, holy shit, with all the super chats, brother. Thank you so much. The cars today have, have not hit me close for the rest of the GTA shit. <laughs> Bro, I would hope not, man. Ain't no way the boss was, Yeah, that's what I thought at first. I was like, yo, was the boss really that easy? All right, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this health um, thing just because it seems like my health is constantly going down in that. Do you think that damage he was hit me with was considered elemental damage? Dragon hearts. I wonder what I need. I don't even know how to get more of the dragon hearts. I got stuff that I can. I gotta go check. I never even talked to that lady yet. Now we're at full health. Talk to tree lady here. You. Met Andrew. Ah, then he is himself, and he is well. Much has changed since we met. 
You have grown in strength. The root have tasted fear. It is a feeling unfamiliar to them. This world will not recover, Traveler. What the root have taken cannot be returned. Yet, we live. You have given us that. I can offer you this boon, child. Oh yeah, I can buy three of them, actually. Yeah, I had three simulacrums. Take care. So I'm up to seven, seven heals. Now my check, my damage is not going to be as as fat or, but. We'll see if I still do a good bit of damage. There's so much going on in inside when you get into that like shadow realm thing. hurt this thing, right? Except you.
in, guys. But Sebastian, thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate the donation, man. dodging or come out running Chat, man. Now for sure need a damn grenade launcher or a nuke.
Swarm OP chat. Sw the swarm is just so good. It's so good. There it is. There it is, guys. So th this is all in preparation for the sequel that will be dropping at the end of this month. Uh, look, definitely looking forward to that now. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what they do with builds and, and, and guns, weapons, and abilities and stuff like that, like how much different the game's going to be. Uh, it's, it's, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Definitely looking forward to it. Uh, uh, but Gia, salute me. Thank you, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. And I had a good time, guys. I had a good time. Um, and like I said, there's a lot of replayability in this game because you can keep refreshing the world and getting a new, um, getting a new like world salute every me. single time. Uh, but yeah, so you can keep rolling it over and over and over again. Should have played it on hard. When I looked the game up, people said that. Um, that normal was more than, you know, it was souls level, you know, it was a good difficulty, uh, which I didn't, I didn't find it to be too easy. I mean, if it, I guess it, it all depends on how you look at it. Like, I, I don't know. I was just hitting a lot of headshots and doing a lot of damage. So I don't know, maybe, maybe the hard mode would have been better, but I think it would have just made it. Cause I felt like I was taking a lot of damage. I was just also doing a lot of damage. So. No, we just we just played Ready or Not yesterday. I'm not playing it again today. Yeah, yeah, we're playing another game tonight. No, yeah, for sure, guys. I'm gonna be uh, dropping this down. I'm gonna go eat dinner, and then we'll be uh, doing one more stream tonight.
But yeah, when I first looked the game up, everybody said it, that normal was perfectly fine for a first playthrough. Um, like I said, it just it, it was fun. It was it, it was it wasn't there was a couple you know fights that we we hit a wall, but for the most part, we had, it was pretty smooth sailing, pretty smooth sailing the whole time. Uh, but it was fun. The DLC, I don't even know how to. Get, I, I haven't bought the DLC. Does anybody know how long the DLC is? It's short. Like how short are we talking? I gotta, I gotta go look at it. Even what? Do you just buy it and then all of a sudden I'll just get access to the missions or whatever? DLC is only one hour? Oh, wow, that's real short. Yeah, the boss was hard until I figured... Once you figure out the mechanics and what you got to do... Um, it's like any boss fight, you know what I mean? Uh, you just got to kind of figure out the mechanics, figure out how the boss moves, what you got to avoid. Uh, and then just, just go from there. And as soon as I figured out, the Swarm was the was the real MVP right there, guys. I would have probably, I'd like, legit, if I didn't have Swarm, I probably would have had to run that Nightmare Realm probably, like, five or six more times than I did right there. But Swarm was just, it was so OP. But again, guys, thank you so much. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go think on what we're going to play. Because like I said, it's between GTA or, or Final Fantasy. I don't, I don't know exactly yet. Um, hopefully, I'll see a bunch of you guys over there. I really do appreciate all the support, all the love that you guys have been showing. Um, and yeah, right, I'm going to go eat. And then I'll be back uh, here in a little bit, guys. So if you haven't on your way out, a smash that like button. Especially if you're looking forward to some more uh remnant in the future we're going to be doing the uh sequel to the game at the end of this month i'm also going to look into the dlc uh and we'll i might do that we'll, we'll figure it out i'll figure it out guys uh, but again thank you guys so much i really appreciate it um like i said if you guys haven't smash that like button on your way out if you're new to the channel hey consider subscribing and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace